Well, I'll control. And of course, a lot of times you hear people say that somewhere they are seriously ignorant. But we'll let the spirits control us and we won't holler control. We'll say it's my right. My prerogative. See? You can't squeak an amen out there. See, it's the truth. You, you can't squeak an amen out there. It's just a flat out truth. It? And we holler control, control, control. And really what you're really saying, but you're ignorant, but what you're really trying to say is, is that you don't agree with this compelling because of the spirit that you're in. So Satan has to put up his resistance attack, get you prideful, get you stubborn, get you self-willed, self your ears while you're going, hey. And then as soon as you get on out there by yourself, you're going to go do what you want to do. They're going to stay bound. Personally, I like it when I, I got this clearness up here. I got a nice thinking at peace. I like that, bro. Woo. Every time I try to find something that violates it, I quite quickly remove it. Get the head, get away. Now, hold on. Turn, he's still in my peace. Lord, give me this. Hmm? Maybe we'll later on we get into that false sense of peace we think we got too while we're all anxiety out. Mm -hmm. Satan's favorite weapon is the inability to forgive. Yes. His biggest weapon. You know why? See, because that weapon, not only is it in effect right now, but it is in effect for eternity. See, we don't, we don't have the ability to forgive. You turned over. That over some door right over him to put the torments on you right then and there. Hmm? I like seeing those folks say that. Well, you know, I'm doing fine. I said, really? I said, you ain't got no problem. Nothing. No, I ain't got no problem. Nothing at all. Hmm? You really? I said, how's your digestive system? Well, I really ain't doing so good right there. Really? Hmm. Huh. I said, how you doing with stress? Damn. Sure is heavy. Boy, I said, you doing fine, ain't you? Boy. <laughs> wow! I said, really, huh? Hmm. Man. How about thoughts of guilt? Yeah, man. I said, boy, you're doing fine, though, ain't you? I said, I tell you what, you're doing so fine, I don't want to mess with you. <laughs> well, what do you mean? Well, I, ain't nobody need, ain't no need to mess with you. You're doing fine. But I just got finished showing you, you ain't doing so fine. Now, if you like that, then you stay that way. But I'm getting away from you. If I stick around you like that, I'm more, I don't want to be doing as fine as you are. <laughs> then folks get mad at you. <laughs> Trying to help them, but they get mad at you. See, sometimes you have to insult people's integrity in order to get to spark them to think. You know, you're not really trying to do You're really just trying to help. But sometimes you have to you have to do that. Is that right? And of course, since Satan used that as a main weapon, unforgiveness, to not forgive, that's his biggest weapon. That's the reason why we're so tormented. Have you ever heard about the deceit of I'm sorry? Let me talk to you about it for a minute. <laughs> We've all been hurt. Can't get an amen out of that. Amen. You know the reason why I can't get an amen out of that? I'm going I'm to rule out complacency and apathy and placebo. I'm going to move out all of them. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to put it on um, nobody knows like I know. And you, don't, you ain't feeling my hurt. I'm putting it on justification, retaliation, resentment. Mm -hmm. That's the one thing we forget. You say, we this basket of nerves. What's wrong with you? I'm hurt. And of course, you can go, well, I understand that. 
You don't understand. Yeah, yeah, I do understand that. No, you don't. Well, tell me why. Come on, say you just don't understand. Uh, what if I told you I did understand? Well, you do. You think you understand? So, yeah. Tell me how you understand. Cause you don't want to hurt me. <laughs> No, I, I'm trying to tell you, you don't want to hurt me. <laughs> Sorry, folks. Pastors hurt people. People hurt pastors. Friends hurt friends. Husbands hurt wives. Wives hurt husbands. Children hurt parents. Parents hurt children. Y'all want to get on the, on the, on the, on the, on the instruments up here? Want to get on the music? And, man, we can get down. <laughs> I'm surprised y'all ain't start getting other stuff. <laughs> Shoot, this is the truth. Reason why it ain't so much true because wait a minute, nobody hurting like me. Let's try this again. Pastor hurts congregation. Congregation hurt pastor. Amen. 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 Husband hurt wife. Wife hurt husband. Friend hurt friend. Brother hurt brother. Sister hurt sister. Cousin hurt cousin. Aunt hurt uncle. Children hurt children. <laughs> Man, we get some spoons. The spoons really get going up here because it's the truth. Man, anybody here ever been hurt? Now, I know you, you want us to know that your hurt is more than everybody else's, though. And you ain't going to pass that garbage off on me. Hurt is hurt. The only reason why your hurt seems to be so magnified is because uh, ain't nobody hurting like you because it's your hurt. So the devil does put you in a little box over here and say, yeah, you hurt and they hurting you. And you and you squallow up inside that box. Of course, you ain't never hurt nobody, though, because you so holy. You ain't never bothered nobody. It's everybody else bothering me. See, that's where the enemy gets placed at. Because he has you to zero in on you being hurt. Amen. This is me. And so the church is full of walking wounded. Man, we got the we got the bandana running around our head with blood coming out the side of the head up here like. We bent over, we cut, we got half a leg, half an arm, we, man, we faithful are the wounds of a friend. And we all being friends, right? No, I'd rather be a brother. <laughs> Look at him looking. I'm sorry, folks, I'm sorry, but yeah, you have hurt me. You've injured me, but not with all. You ain't injured me to the point to withdraw from me. Like the way you do. Some of us ain't mature enough to know that um, when we receive hurt and stuff, you know. Have I ever withdrew from somebody? Sure I have. Man, we can have a testimony line. We get up here and tell everybody get up here and test about how bad you've been hurt. So I've been hurt so bad almost to the brink of suicide. Boy, that devil was working, wasn't he? Yeah. Wasn't he working? Yeah. Wasn't he working? Boy, what a spirit. And you playing around with him. Just the truth, brothers and sisters. And the church is, you know, with all this hurt.